What's up everybody? This is BS for Build. I'm Chris. This is our final episode in our small little mini series of building an amphibious car. At the end of this episode, I'm going to drive this car into a river. Stay tuned. All right guys, so at the end of last episode, I showed you guys, I put the springs in the back of the Beamer. So we got the Jeep springs in the back of the Beamer. Uh, starting this one up, we had to uh, do something interesting to the rotor. So I'm running with these uh, two inch spacers. So these are the spacers that we're gonna run. They're billet aluminum spacers. And uh, I wouldn't recommend just throwing them on your car for no reason. Uh, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, but anyways, so we had to come in here with a cutting blade and cut off, there's like a hub centric, like, um, uh, stabilizer that, that that mounts into the hub of your wheel uh, that BMW puts on that and it didn't want to fit into the back of my wheel spacer so to make it fit I went in and I cut that off with a cutting blade and then now the wheel spacer can bolt onto there and if we walk around to the other side I'll show you one already set up so here's our wheel and tire and you can see we got the the wide body edge going on and we have our nice offset now we originally did that so that we could put paddles that went out past the tire if we want to and we don't have to worry about them hitting the car body also we did that because wide body is awesome but you know if you're doing this at home which i hope no one's following this build to do it themselves at home uh that might be worthless so we did a worthless mod and it took a little bit of time but it was really fun jeep springs wide body next thing we're going to do with that wheel is we're going to take it back off and we have to uh, build paddles onto the wheel so that when it turns underwater uh it'll propel us somewhere and I also got a wide body fender flare for this back. Yep, wide body beamer. The other thing that we had going on, which is a little bit hard to see right now, Eric's crew came in here and built up this skeleton for a front kind of a bow. Uh, I don't know what the hell these things are called, but it's like the front of a boat shape. So you see we dropped down about six inches. We have very little ground clearance here. And, uh, and it goes over our headlights and blocks a bunch of our radiator. So the idea is that this is a skeleton that we're gonna use to fill up with foam. And uh, we wanted to make this as big as we possibly could to add as much buoyancy to the front of this car as possible. So big shout out to Eric and his crew, his girlfriend and his friend Jason came down here and helped me out uh, by building this. Unfortunately, sometimes they work faster than I can get a camera out. And uh, this was basically built by the time we turned the camera on. But um, it's not finished being built a lot of, so we have some like welds that are done over here and we have some tack welds that are done over here. So I think that I'm gonna bust out the welder and finish this thing up. Well, the metal in the front cools down. I need to focus on this back area. So we have two things that need to go in here. We have our, our main battery, our car battery is gonna need to go in here. And I wanna get it higher than kind of the, the sinking level, the water level. So I'm gonna spray some foam in here. And, and uh, so this part will expand up a little bit. And then you have this grounding cable and this cable, they both need to be extended. So I bought some um, battery cable extenders down at the store and we'll extend our cables up to our battery. So we're, we're just kind of basically foaming up a shelf right here. The other thing I wanna do is we have our auxiliary battery that is gonna power the pump that pumps water and I wanna mount that battery right up here. So that's gonna be a little bit more fun uh, because we gotta fasten it down. So I'm gonna do both those things right now. All right, so our rear battery tray is almost done. We uh, need one more layer of foam uh, in there to really have that thing supported. And I'm gonna wait for some of that foam to set up before I spray another layer on top. Um, and then over here, we have our, our uh, marine battery, our auxiliary battery, I guess is what we'd call that. And so I did a piece of sheet metal, bolted that down to the body and then around on the back side. Same deal. Looks kind of cool from the outside. Um, so that is going to run two wires along there, down there, and down to there while we'll mount our uh, pump body. So I think that's a good thing to do next. I'll go grab that and start thinking about how to mount that up. Okay, we've got our ejection pump placed and our outlet hose ran. So the pump's right there, it's placed right there. It couldn't fit right there on the tunnel where I wanted it, but also I did remember that it can't go underwater, so I kind of placed it somewhere high. 
So you'll see the cables, those run out there. We need to buy some more wire. I don't have any stock wire laying around the shop, so soon what we'll do is we'll wire that up to this battery right up here, and we'll wire an inline switch in the middle so the captain can decide when to turn on the pump. The other thing that we're gonna do tomorrow is take the inlet hose, so this is the outlet hose. We'll take the inlet hose and just, basically the job of the inlet hose is it's gonna be flexible. It can go over there or it can go over there. It's The idea is it should be able to go anywhere in the cabin that we want if we wanna uh, remove some water. So you find a leak, you find a puddle, you remove water with this thing, rather than just bailing it out with a bucket. So the outlet hose is right there, and that's where it expels the water, so it runs along the floorboard, up the side of the car, and out. Out the rear quarter window that doesn't exist. And that'll shoot water out. This is a 300 gallon per hour pump, so that's several gallons per minute of water that it can expel. So that's pretty cool. We're almost done wiring that up, which was a big deal. So that is it for today. Um, tomorrow we have everything else to do, so it'll be a very long day tomorrow, uh, but it's very exciting because it's our last day, so whatever we end up with is what we drive into a river. See you guys tomorrow. All right guys, I'm back. It's the final day of the build, so I'm quite excited, but I'm a little bit nervous. We have a ton of work to do and not enough time, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on it. So the first thing I need to do is take this skeleton and basically wrap it, build a skin. I'm gonna use some plastic that I got behind me and uh, we're gonna wrap it and that way when you spray the foam, the foam will kind of stay in the centralized area that we need it to and wrap around the bars and do all that good stuff. And then we also have these foam uh, blocks that we're gonna use and those will act as filler as well. They're just a little bit more economical. Uh, you get more square footage of foam per dollar than you do with spray foam. So I gotta try and figure out a nice way to kind of wrap this whole thing, build a skin around it. The hard part's gonna be the backside. Once I get the backside, then the sides and the under part will be easy. When I close my eyes, I can no more see it. When I take your breath, you fill up my lungs. And if my mind All right, well that took way too long, but you can see we start to have our little bow starting forming here. So that's just the plastic kind of like wrap around it. And I got the backside all done. What we're doing is we're just creating a box to fill with foam. And the foam doesn't need a lot to support it. Once the foam gets in here, it'll stick to the plastic and to the metal, and it will be kind of the thing that holds everything together. So we got to do one, side, uh, one piece on the side here, one piece on the side here. We're only gonna go up to the headlight level and then we'll start to be able to, that'll be our full enclosure and we'll be able to start filling it with foam. The radiator, some of you guys I think we're gonna block the radiator, we are gonna partially block the radiator. So I'll put a piece of plastic right here across it so we don't put foam in the radiator. That'll go across here. Then we'll build a little fin on top of here that sticks out that will shovel air in and down and through this crack right here. The fan will still be able to draw plenty of air through there. So that's our hope is that we won't overheat. Twenty-five cans of spray foam later, and a bunch of this. We had four sheets of that and two sheets of the one inch, and it's all in here now. So that is basically this whole thing is all full. There's a little bit of finishing work to do. A couple more cans need to go in. Again, I'm letting it dry so it'll set up. So like, cause we got to fill in there a little bit. But other than that, this whole thing is chock full, going all the way back to that back thing that we built. So that's gonna add a lot of buoyancy. I am leaving this space open so we can throw in a strap right through here. If we do wanna do a ratchet strap to a barrel, that's gonna be an option. We're leaving that as an option. Looks kinda of cool from this angle, but it looks less cool from up here. I might uh, paint the foam or something once we get to a point where it's all set up. And I'll be removing that tape and that cardboard. So that's all great. I'm gonna go ahead and finish our pump, run the electric for that, and then uh, I think it's time to move on to the fenders and starting to figure out how we're gonna mount the uh, barrels onto the sides. All right, our pump is all wired up. We ran a wire over there, along the side, up the side, and up to our little auxiliary battery here. And so you have the negative, which will always be on, and then the positive is on a little piece of plastic. So when we're driving and we wanna turn the pump on, you just pull that piece of plastic off and attach this on there, and then the pump is on. Meanwhile, Eric and Jason are over here and they are welding up the paddles for the wheels. So those are gonna bolt onto the side of those and that's gonna propel us in the water. All 
Alright, so you guys probably saw Eric and Jason uh, building this crazy contraption that are our wheel paddles. So this shit out. Once we get close to the where we're gonna drive into the water, we're gonna throw some bolts through this and these bolt up to the wheels right here. And these are our paddles. This is how we're gonna propel ourselves in the water. Brilliant. Moving on, we need to attach barrels. So we have moved the car outside since we're gonna be welding and there's foam right behind it. Just in case if anything goes wrong, we're putting it outside. And uh, we have these D-rings like this. We're gonna be attaching them to the body and then ratchet strapping around our barrel to have our barrels firmly attached to the car when we get to the water. So it's sketchy as hell. We did catch the car on fire one more time, but we do have all of our rings. We're doing four rings on each door. We're changing our plan. So there's gonna be one barrel here, one barrel mirroring it on the other side, optional barrel in the front that will uh, bolt onto that bar, and then an optional barrel in the back that we're gonna do onto the rear impact bar. So now we are just um, winding out the daylight by filling different things with foam. You can see we just did that fender. A um, little bit more in the bumper work to do and the rear quarter panel is going to get filled with foam and then I think we're done. Jason is over there building some uh, some oars. The oars are for steering and they're going to go through this hole right here. Uh, once we have the oars done then and we have the foam done it's time to take her out for a test drive. All right well we were doing really good we're making great progress and then someone decided to shoot up the street literally across the fence from us. Uh, unfortunately, some guy's dead and some guy's wounded. Um, I hope that guy's okay. I think that guy was one of the shooters, so fuck him. Uh, so that was an exciting time that we didn't really want to have. And now the streets are all blocked off. Luckily, they caught the guys that did it over here, but now we're completely blocked in. So we're committed to working for a couple more hours, but we're going to lose daylight now because we got set behind. But we're going to do our best. We're going to wrap this thing up, and I'll show you the results in the morning. All right, here's the walk around of the car since last night. Bumper's a little bit in the shadows, but got our awesome bumper on there, a little spray paint. So I was driving around with the barrels in the back getting lots of looks. We had one problem where the car didn't start just a minute ago. So if we go in the water and it doesn't start when I come out, that's not my fault. Foam won't stop spraying out of the outside, so. We're massing a bit of a crowd. I think it's time to strap on barrels and get to it. All right, we are getting close to launch point. Got our barrels mounted up. We got the car to start and stay running. It's looking pretty good. So my benchmark for this, my, uh, my coworker, the guy that makes all the shirts for us, uh, bet me a thousand bucks that I couldn't make the car drive into the water float long enough to drink a beer and then drive back out. He backed out of the bet because he's a little bit scared, but that's that's what I'm calling a, a uh, amphibious car. So I got beer in the back on hand. I'm gonna drive it in, drink a beer, <laughs> get the hell out. Get the hell out. <laughs> drink fast. All right, guys. Actually, I'm gonna get a little closer to the dock. Damn you! <laughs> oh my oh, god, it's running, working! Run is floating. Holy shit! Oh, oh you're oh. up! Steaming! Your fan is pushing water against the engine. We're floating! We're floating. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, sit there for a second. <laughs> oh man, it's weird having the brakes not Something's doing anything. Something's bubbling. Oh, that's your exhaust. I, I got a uh, <laughs> We got a small leak. We only have two really small leaks. Put it in gear and go a little bit further. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it's floating. <laughs> it's floating up! Yeah! Here's the move! Alright, it's time to get a beer. Your alternator belt is 
splashing water, but I don't think you know, you know aerial electrical is all solid. So yeah, you I get think it. we'll be fine. Yeah. We got a tiny bit of water. We need more water though. Look at the transmission tunnel. Huh? <laughs> it's just like a little water fountain. You gotta pop your pump on. Uh, we need more water first. I need beer. Yeah. Otherwise, you burn up the impeller. Yeah. Uh, let's try and go deeper. <laughs> Maybe go to the end of the dock. Go to the end of the dock. All right, I'm gonna go to the end of the dock and then drink a beer. Maybe oh, tow trucks? Did they show up just for us? <laughs> yeah! Back that water. Back that on this side. Well, they're both on this side. We're still trying to go forward. Yeah. This has to be a Geico commercial. <laughs> it's officially a boat! All right, let's take the pump on. You are a boat. All right, get the pump on. Get the power on that. I got the pump thing. The limit is with the Oh, well, it is now that it's going up. Yeah, it's you got it the other way. Oh, no way. Oh my god, I did! He bumped himself backwards, turn it off! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah! Get full of the bay! That's a good sound. Alright, I want to drink a beer and try and drive this out just to prove the method. Eric, you hear me? Oh, wait, there's one of that. Are you down in about one or three or what? I mean, First gear. I don't know why I'm still driving. <laughs> you know, just a little bit more waterproofing, we'd be like super good. You can drive that out. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Throw it in reverse. All right, I drank a beer. Uh, I was voting. I'm now right. I think that wheel Watch the dock. Watch the dock. Can you go forward again? Forward? Yeah. yeah. Go forward. Whoa! <laughs> All righty. How did we get so much power that time? I did the wheels on the thing. I did the wheels, so yeah, it was on the ground. Yeah, we're not. Off yet. There you go. Let me know what to do. Yeah, Alright, reverse. Yes. Alright, move the pump. Alright, reverse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Woo! Man, I've never seen so much water come out of the engine. I just found a dust cap in here. I can't believe that. Holy shit. <laughs> Is gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Success! <laughs> All right. On this high point, I'm calling this an episode. Thank you guys very much. Hey, 100,000 subscribers. Thanks to everybody. Yeah. Jeff's here. Everybody wondering, where's Jeff? There's Jeff. Hey. There's Jeff. How's it going? Thanks to Jeff. <laughs> thanks to Eric. Thanks to Jason. Thanks to the other Jason. Thanks to the Chelsea behind you. 100,000 subscribers. We did it. Peace. Yeah.